Hi everyone, it's Paul Tilly, Marketing Research. I know you're all busy getting ready for your midterm exam, and as a result, I'm sure you've been taking a hard look at some of the course and the course materials that I've provided for you. Just wanted to give you a little bit of guidance in the next couple of days to be able to direct your study to be most effective and most efficient. You got to remember that this is a course that deals with marketing research, so we have hit some very big topics in this course and you know if I were someone to write an exam or to actually write the exam I would make sure that I'd be wanting to be testing people on the major topics and so I want you to think that probably you're going to get tested on the major topics sure that you have looked at the um, list of uh, key objectives that I have published and it's there on the front page of the website for this. Be aware that you know if you look at that list and I'm going to get it right here on my iPad. If you look at that list of systems, things like define marketing research, define the marketing concept, explain the role of marketing research in market strategy and identify the criteria used to determine when market research is needed. Describe the context of valuable information. All those things deal with the rationale for market research. I'd be very aware of the, the rationale for market research. As well, uh, I've asked you to think about the different types of market research. And when we looked at market research, we, we, we explored the, the broad topics. So the broad topic of the different types of market research is exploratory research, which is a research that will be used when we're not really clear what the situation is and we need to be able to get a better understanding of what the situation is. Descriptive marketing research, which is really just trying to describe or to paint some picture of what's going on. And uh, finally, we got this causal marketing research, which is we're trying to find a cause and effect relationship between a couple of events. Those are very important points and very important uh, areas that, that are broad-based and certainly I'd be very familiar with those. As well, I've asked you to look at the ethical implications of marketing research and uh, the stages of the market research process. Again, every single video I've produced for you talks about where we are in that stage. You have to be absolutely aware of the various stages in the process. Make sure you're aware of that. Make sure you understand what the role of each stage is. Get that straight. And I've got a whole section there on that, so you can go look at the video or look at the sections on it. Uh, I've also looked at the, the difference between qualitative and quantitative information. Our focus has primarily been on qualitative information to date, and qualitative usually some sort of a secondary data that we collect. And uh, you also want to think about secondary data in terms of what are some of the best things about secondary data, the key advantages of it and what are some of the things we need to be aware of with it? some of the, the disadvantages or the challenges of, of secondary data. Make sure you're aware of that. That's going to be, uh, again, a, a big topic and uh, something that certainly will show up on the test. Uh, we, it, it ended off, we had a discussion about the various sources of secondary data. I, I certainly want you to be aware of where we collect secondary data, some of the sources and things that we can use for that. So, have a look at all those things. Make sure you review all the material you've covered to date. Have a look at the videos, and you should do just fine on the exam. Good luck.